Hello from Slovenia again. This will be the last painting probably that I will do with those reds and gold to show you different ways that you can create the flowers and this will be uh, the one that I did if you will see almost two years ago uh, in kind of diagonal shape uh, I will probably do it differently than I did it that time because you know time change <laughs> in these two years uh, but it will be this I will put the link to the one that I did two years ago into the description box and it will be my inspira inspiration for today I will just spread this white base a little bit uh, because I want to have a nice smooth base and I forgot my gloves again if Marina would be here she will tell me to use gloves <laughs> uh, we have so much fun this uh, Saturday on our life poor with Marina and I love her painting so much. No, not that I don't like mine, but hers, her strainer pour was really beautiful with those colors. I really like it a lot. Okay, I think that I covered. I have a small eight by. 10 inch canvas just to show you and those um, flower dips, reverse flower dips are uh, easier on smaller canvases so if you will practice uh, reverse flower dips I suggest you to use, I don't know 8x8, eight 8x10, by 10x10 eight, eight by 10, 10 by 10 inch canvases, no, not big canvases because it's hard to control your napkin or paper towel, whatever you use. If you have a big canvas, I have something in here, what is with my, where is the other one? I constantly put some pipettes, not pipettes. What is this? Okay, so uh, I will do just some dots. This is a Lizarian crimson in the shape of a flower I add more paint here so I will just and this is my pearl white mixture and cadmium red deep hue And 24 karat gold. And I was just thinking to add maybe a dot of black in the middle. Okay. And I will do another one here. white and I will use some greens today too in this 
diagonal reverse flower dip. Cadmium red, gold, and a touch of black in the middle. Okay, and I will add some. greenery around maybe just like this some white this was olive green this is pearl white not just white let's add one here and a few more here maybe And this is green gold. Whoop. And I will maybe add some little dots of red here like some bots bots maybe or something I don't know let's see what will happen bit of gold we just a little more green here just for some I don't know I'm just playing around just trying to do a kind of uh, composition or something I don't know if this is a good one let's see what will happen and I will spray my napkin, paper napkin with water, just a little bit, not too much, Oop. I will place it down and then we will, I will We will lift it in a diag diagonal way this time. Okay. So I will just touch those places where my paint is a little bit. Sorry, and I will hmm, try to leave this a little differently if I can. I totally forgot how I did this, so let's leave this. Diagonal way. Okay. I think that it's quite nice. It's not a lot of, um, it's a lot of negative space, but. I don't mind because I like it. I'm not sure about this middle little red buds that they should be <laughs> should not should that I thought that 
they will be bought, but they are not. But still, you can, you know, do more of those um, flowers, kind of, with the dots, and you will get more um, blooms, or how can I say, if you want, but sometimes it's just, it's no need to be all over the canvas I like that there is some negative space too and I love how this green creates those you see really interesting things and the blooms turned out really nice too this bud here, it's not totally what I was hoping for, but I will say that I like it. Maybe I would add a little more greenery here and there, or maybe more buds or something, but I just want to show you that you will have an impression of what you can do <clears throat> because as you can see probably it's a little different shape of a flower if you if you lift your napkin like that it's more sideways looking flower or how can I say and I'm just, I'm a little bit, I should add a dot of darker red probably on the gold, but still it's not bad. So, so this is another way that you can create a simple flower shaped painting with just adding some dots and stripes and I'm pretty sure that a lot of you can do that but you have to use some pearl white mixture with Vallejo pearl medium that I use or some extreme sheen paints from Decor to create this lacing and 3D look so this is it, real quick video for today and see you on the next one. Bye! I didn't find the button. Bye!